Back in the 1940s, when I was an undergraduate at the University of Chicago, I was in New York visiting my parents during the Christmas break. And somebody pulled out of his wallet this bow tie. I said, how do you tie that? He said, I don't know. I said, who knows, where do you get it? He says, well, there are, there are two people who know how to do this. One of them is in New York and one of them is in Chicago. Well, I wasn't interested in anybody who was in New York because in a day or two I was going to return to Chicago. So I said, who is the Chicago guy? He said, his name is Martin Gardner. Well, I got back to Chicago and I looked in the phone book and there was no listing for a Martin Gardner. About two years later, I'm returning from lunch in the company of a group of students and one of them drops the name Martin Gardner in conversation to another. I said, you know this guy? He said, yes. I said, do you have his phone number? Yes, I got the phone number. So I called him up and he invited me to come over one morning and he'd show me how to do this. Well, I get there and he pretends he doesn't really remember at the moment, but he's a very accomplished amateur magician and for the rest of the morning I'm his victim while he's doing magic tricks. Then we go to lunch and all through lunch he is imitating this notorious Uri Geller and, and bending spoons. At least it looked like he was bending spoons. Finally, we get back to his apartment and he finds, opens up a filing cabinet and glances at a card and proceeds to teach me how to fold this bow tie. And it took about three repetitions before I had it down pat. Now, years later, Martin Gardner became somewhat famous. He published a number of books on mathematical games and puzzles and ultimately had a monthly column in Scientific American magazine. Well, since he uh, is now the late Martin Gardner, I did an internet search and I found a number of ways of turning a dollar bill into a bow tie, but they're gross. They're several times the size of these neat little things. Uh, furthermore, somebody lent me a book on various origami to be done with dollar bills, or anyway our currency, and none of them had anything like this bow tie. So I decided I better make a YouTube, a YouTube video of this thing so that the technique of folding a dollar bill into a neat bow tie is not lost to posterity. Okay, so I will show you folks how to fold a dollar bill into this nice bow tie. First, it has to be a one dollar bill or you won't get the right effect because the picture shows on the knot and our larger bills have the pictures now being displaced. So the first thing we do is fold it exactly in two with George Washington on the inside. Then we fold the free end down to the bottom, like so. Turn it over and do the same thing with the other side. Now this part is a little tricky. It would be easier if I had made a vertical crease, but that would type, sort of interfere with later folds. What we have to do is fold the corners down exactly symmetrically and it takes a few tries and I recommend until you've had a lot of practice that you don't try to do this with a really crisp new dollar bill. Pick one that's been worn for a while and it's a little bit soft. Now you see I've got the tip right in the center and the two folds match. Now we turn it over and attempt to do the same thing on the other side. That. Well, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Fine. Now I open it up, and here it is. And now it is fully symmetric, so it doesn't matter what the orientation is on the next step. Simply fold it in half, like that. So I'm going to fold it exactly in half. Now the next step I found a little hard to explain to a friend. Notice there's this point here where you see a gap. And if I turn it over, similar point where I see a gap, 
fold it away from the gap like that, turn it over, fold it away from the gap. Now we have this triangle, hold the tip down and put your thumbs inside and you'll see that I can do this operation, sort of an inside out shift. Now fold this free bit down, turn it over and fold the free bit down, pick it up, grab the two sections and do that. I hope that showed. Now fold the tip down, turn it over and fold the tip down. I bet you think I'm going to make this thing vanish as it gets small enough. Now. Hold it like this, you see I've got two flaps, come in with a fingernail and pull this little part out so that it's sort of rectangular. Do that to all four. Now we come here and do it to the remaining two. Ah, I have a little trouble here. You know, I spent eight years in England and was afraid I would forget how to do this because you can't do it with many foreign uh, currencies. The aspect ratio, that is the ratio from the long side to the short side, is not the same as our bills. Okay, here's the last step. Uh, one end is kind of th one side is sort of thick, the other side is sort of thin. Hold it so the thick side's away from you and fold the pieces down toward the center. It seems almost impossible. It's getting so thick and so folded. Turn it over and do the same thing. Now, voila, a piece of magic is going to happen. Here it is. Pick it up and feel in there and pick up the two bows. What will be the two bows? And now just do that and press. And then fold the back tab, the upper back tab down. And now we have a complete bow tie rather to be pinned to your shirt. And many, many years ago, uh, my wife and I were playing bridge with a visiting couple and we installed these bow ties on our clothing and after about an hour playing bridge, they actually noticed them.